Hey everyone, still lots of football going on out there with more passes than Diane Abbott on Mastermind, but elsewhere this week saw the US involved in what was either described as mass human rights abuses on the Mexican border, or the culmination of decades of mismanagement when it comes to immigration. President Trump was pretty keen to stress that it was actually the continuation of an Obama-era policy, which only made the situation more confusing, really. What would possess the president to, after all, embrace one of Obama's policies? To do some fact-checking, though, President Obama did oversee the deportation of over two million migrants, just as he did a lot of other things that people don't like to remember, like when he was relaxing quite a few gun laws, for instance, in between shooting some basketball hoops and, of course, shooting some people from the air with drones all over the Middle East. Nonetheless, we live in a social media age and families, illegal migrant or not, locked up in cages doesn't play terribly well, especially in an election year. Also, it is worth noting that President Trump got elected largely because of his unwillingness to put the dreams and wishes of illegal migrants ahead of those who already live in impoverished parts of the US. Nonetheless, the United Nations Human Rights Watch stepped up to condemn the US. This, of course, is the same Human Rights Council that's headed up by Saudi Arabia, which always seemed a bit strange, you know, a bit like making Richard Dawkins the Pope or asking Gordon Brown to look after your money. Up until now, though, the Saudis have mostly used a position of power to line their own pockets or occasionally put out a press release about the Rohingya Muslims being persecuted in Burma. But then they also started criticising Israel's behaviour in the West Bank, and now they're bashing the US itself. So I guess it's time for Washington to call for fresh elections, by which, of course, I mean presumably giving the role to the highest bidder, as long as it's not Russia or Saudi Arabia again. Unless they've learnt a lesson, of course. Call me cynical. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe. Bye.